What you are about to see is the very last episode of the hit television show, Ted and the Hole. Ted was born on February 14, 1975. His mother, Doris, gave birth to him on this very hall. She was a resident assistant at the time. They lived on the hall together until October 5, 1977, when Doris passed away from natural causes. Her residents were stricken with grief. They needed someone to assist and advise them. They needed a hero. Ted, only two years old at the time, saw what he needed to do. He took up the resident's assistant job and became his mother's successor. He has upheld this position ever since. He has never left the hall. One, two, three, four. Ted on the hall. Ted on the hall. Ted on the hall. Ted on the hall. Mr. Ted, I know that um, we don't really talk a lot, but I'm just going through a really hard time, and uh, I was just hoping if I could have a shoulder to lean on. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just really busy right now. Okay. I'm sorry. The, the reason you're not allowed to leave the hall as a resident assistant is because I'm, it's my responsibility to care for these children and to nurture them so they can get the best of their education. <laughs> This is designed after me from uh, one day three years ago when I sang in the shower. Um, my, 
my my laundry. I, I don't. Cause I just really, I just really wanted, um, wanted you to go with me, you know? You're not gonna turn me down, are you, Ted? Are ya? Let's go, Ted! Come on! I don't think so, Ted, come on! You know, I'm doing you a favor, no. I really am! When no. was the last time you had fun, Ted? No! Come on! No! It would be great! It's gonna be great! No. Come on! No! I'm gonna get you out of the suit! No! Come on, Ted! No! Oh. Ted! Ted, we're going to Beaux Arts now. No! What? Fuck you, Ted! I hope you die! The thing with fire, uh, particularly fire alarms, is that it's very important to the hall that if there is ever a fire, we can access the alarm quickly and be able to, you know. No! These presidents just want to ride my coattails. I don't understand. I apologize for my president's behavior. I'll be right back. Hey, Mr. Ted. <laughs> Don't mess with my board. If you ever need a shoulder to cry on, I'm, I'm just right down the hall. <laughs> Mr. Ted? Oh, he's, he's great. Other, you know, people have, some people have problems with him, but I've, I've never seen anyone better. Like... I mean, I, you know, I, I had a friend who was engaged in a tiff at one point, but Mr. Ted just, he just, like I said, you know, I've never seen anyone better, and I like Mr. Ted. Does, does that answer your, your question? Okay. <clears throat>
Outside, of course. I can't do that. To go outside, I have, Ted. I have responsibilities. If you want to be a real man. I have responsibilities, If assistant. you want to be a real man, take my hand. Ted. I don't want to be a real man. Take my hand. If you want to be a real man, you just got to just gotta go outside. That's all you got to do. What? It's where pussy is. Ted. 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 It's where pussy is. It's where pussy is. Listen to me, Pop. Listen to me, boy. I found your mother in a clear fuck down the whole house. I spent my weeks on it. Fucking her, making you one. I spent my whole weeks on it. I spent my whole weeks on it. On that, Ted. Sandwiches I could have bought with twenty five dollars. You know how many goddamn sandwiches I could have bought? I could have bought a lot of tasty sandwiches, Ted. A lot of tasty sandwiches. I don't want a sandwich. But instead, I don't want your a sandwich. Mother. She wasn't I like that. Your horror for mother. She wasn't like that. I fucked your horror for mother. She wasn't like that. see it so clearly in front of me. Everything my life could have been if I were born under different circumstances. If I had gone outside, maybe I would have had friends. People would have liked and respected me instead of spitting on me and undermining my reputation. Well, no more. Not this time. Nuh-uh. No siree. Things are about to change. Thank you. 
Because Ted had never been outside before, his immune system had not built up a resistance to many common airborne ailments. He contracted all of them at once, causing his body to go into shock and cease to function. We can all learn a little bit from Ted's story. His was a tragic existence, but that doesn't mean ours has to be. We still have time to live. We still have time to go outside. Start on me.